Apple has long been known for its strategic use of silicon across its iPhone models, reserving the latest chipsets for the Pro models while the standard models get the previous year's system on chip. However, a shift in the strategy is on the horizon with the upcoming iPhone 16. A code discovered in Apple's backend suggests that all four models expected to be released later this year will feature the same A-series chip. This significant discovery was made by Nicol Alvarez and shared with Uniyarez, indicating a major change in Apple's approach to chipset distribution across its iPhone lineup. For the past few years, Apple has been equipping the standard iPhone models with the previous year's chipset, while the Pro models received the latest silicon. For instance, the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus were equipped with the A16 Bionic chip, also used in the iPhone 14 Pro models. In contrast, the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max boasted the more advanced A17 Pro silicon. However, recent leaks suggest that the entire iPhone 16 lineup will share the same chip, presumably the A18. This move has been eagerly anticipated by many Apple enthusiasts urging the tech giant to adopt this strategy for several generations now. Rumors about the iPhone 16 lineup include the possibility of five listed devices, fueling speculation about this additional model. One theory is that it could be a future iPhone Southeast, following the trend of past Southeast models featuring the same chipset as the flagship iPhones from the previous year. Another theory suggests the extra model might be the rumored iPhone 16 Ultra, potentially succeeding the Pro Max. However, there hasn't been much buzz surrounding the Ultra model ahead of the anticipated iPhone 16 release, making it a less likely scenario. The decision to change the chipset strategy for the iPhone 16 is likely driven by the demands of Apple intelligence, which appears to require significant processing power. Currently, AI is exclusive to the A17 Pro-powered iPhone 15 Pro models. While there are rumors of a potential subscription-based Apple intelligence service, it seems unlikely that Apple would restrict AI to only its Pro models moving forward. The tech giant has now entered the AI competition and has crafted some intriguing AI functionalities for the upcoming iPhones. The upcoming iPhone 16 is anticipated to bring significant upgrades to its camera systems. Reports suggest that Apple might be turning to Samsung for a new CMOS image sensor, which is expected to offer significant advantages over the current sensor used in the iPhone 15 series. Apple is reportedly in the final stages of evaluating the quality of the new CMOS image sensor supplied by Samsung, potentially making Samsung the second supplier of camera sensors for Apple alongside Sony. This shift from Sony to Samsung is said to be a result of delays faced by Apple in receiving image sensors last year, causing setbacks in the iPhone 15 launch schedule. The new CMOS sensor from Samsung is rumored to feature a three-wafer stack design, offering advantages such as higher pixel density, smaller pixel sizes, and reduced noise compared to the previous two-wafer stack design used in earlier iPhone models. Battery life has been a common complaint among iPhone users, and Apple has been actively addressing this issue since the release of the iPhone 11. With the upcoming iPhone 16, there are high expectations for an even longer battery life compared to the iPhone 15 series. According to a post by Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, there are speculations that Apple may switch from a foil battery case to a stainless steel case for the iPhone 16, which could potentially increase the battery cell density by 5 to 10% while ensuring safety. The iPhone 16 is shaping up to be a remarkable upgrade with uniform chipsets across all models, advanced AI capabilities, improved camera systems, and enhanced battery life. As we approach the launch, more information will undoubtedly surface, so stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss any updates on the iPhone 16.